don't know their names. Trigger. It is sure pure potential, but we should have specific course events to have a proper effect on time. As the one who made the epoch, your wing of time, has it like any ache or sense of possibility it may or may not hatch. But the clone trigger gives you the potential to get your friend back. The egg will have an efficient an effect equal to the effort you put into your search. No more, no less. Don't forget that as long as you keep cloning your heart. As here's you enough. Shall arrive. Well, I believe that's what they used to call me ages ago. Got one C trigger. Hey, you guys, Nintendo Chuck Norris. That begins the cycle to get Chrono back. Or Chrono Side Quest, I guess you could call it. Let's <coughs> so start to the person who made Epoch. And he's in 2300 AD. You know, the future. Forward. That's all he says. Okay, just forward. I don't have any in here. They're in mom's office. Go look in my shop somewhere. Okay. I know there's pencils here. Nice. Hey. Need a clone? Now it's time back where? So we're at the festival. Looks like we gotta head to Wayan Square in the, pre in the present. So I said, it's a little hard to remember how to, how to do them exactly. <coughs> nope. Why? I think it's why. Yes, it's why. To the present. Okay. Yes, why in the future is a ship in the middle of the present? No one will notice it. So now it's time backward, huh? Now it's time backward as well. Let's find some new shows for the start. Challenge me if you come on this day of the game, the world or has to be. I'll take the challenge. You need more points then. So, if you like me, you don't have any points. Here's what you can do. You can 
get lost. You can try to get silver points by doing that race thing or other different challenges. Or you can be smart and whoop Gato a few times. Done. <laughs> See? Fun. And you and I gotta do a tech. That I didn't know I could get yet. <laughs> uh, due to Magus's uh, techs, I can't get the first uh, triple tech with him. I need to adjust my party again. Get some more techs with these two. See if I can get any techs that don't, you know, suck. Go down, go back in. Four points. Yay. One more time to do it. Maybe 45 points plus the ones I had before. Fun. If you can't stop Gato, Gato by this point, I'm sorry, you suck. Really. But even Mad just starts at level 37, he can one shot him. I mean, really. You're trying to beat the game at level 1, I think you're cheating because it's impossible. Believe me, I've tried. I do want a kernel clone. What? Left arm, right arm, laugh, it's a prize. That was an epic fail on my part right there. Excuse me while I move my mouse so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. Um. Now that I have a Colonel Clone. Normally, the, normally you probably think, oh, well, I know what to do next. I do. But. You can't just do that. No, no, no. You have to talk to the Balthazar again. Here we are. Keeper's done. There are some chests I can open that I'll open later because I don't feel like opening them right now. I'll open them on screen, don't worry. I'll, I'll show you where they all are. Yeah. On Death Peak, you'll find the power to restore life. Having this power, the deceased must be important in the space time continuum. And you must have a clone, if another person, okay. Only then can clone trigger work with magic. Without the clone, there's no point in going Death Peak. Now, oh, we had to go grab the clone from the clone of House, because continu because continuity error. I'm quite forgetful these days. You know, I'm aging. I forget things. Just why I keep forgetting that. It's why. 
To the presents. You know, because it's the present. And that's the thing. Choose in. Mayor's Manor. Markets. Residence. Residence. Yep. Carlos House. Madame Carlo is quite well. And he's dead. <laughs> I'm gonna borrow this thing. You'll never see it again. <laughs> All right. Now that we've solved that minor inconvenience, the black omen is in the present. Just no one notices it. <laughs> Who, oh, Melkire? No. That's weird. I, I thought the black one wasn't in the future. What? Huh. I thought the black one disappeared. Nope, it's here in the future. It shouldn't be in the future, though. Wouldn't the rain of destruction from Lavos destroy it? I don't know. Maybe. But well, destroy it in the future, and then if you want most to. Experience, we gotta take it out by moving backwards through time. Oh, it doesn't exist in prehistory, that's right, because I had nothing happened previously that made it existent. Uh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, shut at you. Enough, time's come for you to attempt Death Peak. It's the only chance to have you, you have of arriving your friend. The last program I planted in this creature's Mary Banks will help you up the mountain. Stand back. Poyozo doll. And another one. And another. Yeah. This so will help you climb Death Peak. Screech has executed this program. Please have him see if the switch is on his stomach. His purpose is done. He will sleep for the rest of his, for the rest of eternity, or the game, whichever takes longer. Anyway, I think eternity might take longer than the game. I plan on finishing this yeah, sometime one, this month. The only one that runs in your party right now is Robo. He's the only one that runs. Magic just flies. And there's a. Can't explain that. Rock with the wind dies in high pantries when it blows. You just passed first trial of Death Peak, time for trial number two. The climbing part of Death Peak. Guys, ready? Just... Okay. You done? My turn. Yep, Magus will be your main light magic user for until you get Chrono back in your party. That's fire, not light. I know. They can read. I think they can read. You guys can read, right? Here's the medical offense. If he was slow, why didn't he just slow up? 
he can't float up, he can't fly. Floating and flying are not the same thing. Regardless of what you may think. You guys don't really need to spend any magic. No scaling is desolate peak of doom and destruction and death. Well, this he's way. not really dark, he's a little kid in Janus. Yes, that's already been revealed. This is Chrono side quest, but you don't get to use Chrono as his own side quest. Nice, huh? Zap! However, magic is a great choice for this side quest, in case you were wondering. Kill Frenzy. It's called a quad kill. I'm killing eight. Enemies at once, and it's a bad shot. Double kill. Triple kill. Kill Frenzy. Oh, stop. Enough already. Enough with the killing already. Hey. Stop it. I forget I can't. Now let's, uh, shuffle my party a bit here. Now there's a take on the rest of the place. His Majesty, why am I the only guy here? I beg to differ. Majesty is a guy? I don't know. You can't really tell. Long hair, you know. And Luca's the only one with short hair. But it's obvious she's a girl because she's wearing a skirt. Anyway, moving on from that. And Marnie, well, has all the qualities. Absolutely. Plus, she's a princess, so that takes care of that. Moving on from something like that, let's move into this cave, and I want Antipode 3. I'm pretty sure Magus is a guy. Say your prayers. Hey guys, meet the Lavo Spawn. A creature you might not want to fight. Because of that. It does a good chunk of damage. Do not attack the shell, whatever you do. Never attack the shell, it doesn't end well for anyone. Make sure you cast haste and protect as usual. <laughs> and not get hit by that too often <laughs> Jet shut it <laughs> Jet Now if the side can put a party member to sleep like that I'm up. And confuse them with that attack that we've seen many times before. There's that attack again. Strong as ever. Magic's dead. Revives. So glad I have cure too.
Well, I can't do anything. Um, thanks, I think. Okay, ow. I don't like that attack very much, you can probably tell. This fight takes a while. He needs to stop putting my party, my party members to sleep. You can use magic, depending on how much damage you do with a physical attack, you might want to stick with magic for Luke and Marley since they're magic peoples. By the way, I killed them. So it had the shell goes away. That. Attack the shell and it'll counter, so don't attack the shell. You can now open these chests. Get your arm. Brave sword. Who knows? That may be the end of the lava spawn. Twice, two hits for it's magic that, enemies. That may be the end of the lava spawn. Who? Oh. These. These little bleepers. This smells cracker. Not bleep. I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. No, of course I do. And to those of the, them watching this, they probably know what I mean. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Of the 22 that <laughs> actually watch my stuff. Minus the 22 that don't watch my stuff, so... Zero. <laughs> I'm trying to make another video. A door. Does everything in this? Why are they push? still there? Why does everything? In this, does everything in this game have to respawn? Chill out. They need to chill. Okay, now that we've taken out it, and magic is still our best bet, but I'm gonna show off my party again. Trying to get all the techniques so when I actually have all the techniques, it won't be so hard to get what I want to get. Let's go this way. Why are you here? You want a piece of this? You do? You want a piece of this? You're cold. Let me heat you up. I can't even read those numbers since they overlap so much. Great place to train here. I advise against doing so. Especially if you plan on beating the game in your lifetime. By the way, if you leave there and come back, the enemies respawn. You're cold. How do I heat you up? If you keep saying that, it's gonna get really annoying and then it'll start to mute you with this button here. When it's green, when the light's off, the mic is off. I can mute anything I want. It's awesome. I do wish I could but that's too much. Uh, I'm too lazy to even bother to try to set that up.
Third time's the charm. Or so they say. Just stretching. Chill out. Again. And die. You should keep saying things whenever magic casts a spell. It's gonna get really, really annoying. He's the only one that can cast spells. To win this party. Nope, not yet. I just up down somewhere, right? Are you using Midas to feel Chrono's shoes? No. You can go down. There? No, I can't. After you can. No, I can't jump down. I know that. I know this area. Trust me. I've played the game and I've beaten it. Halfway. You did beat it 100%. The DS, DS and re, the DS port for this game added some new crap that no one does, cause they don't know about it. And so you venture around looking for it. Okay. Now, let's heat things up. Burn. Do you have to say something every time Mag Magus casts a spell? I don't think I can think of anything for lightning. Or darkness. Well, I don't try casting those because I don't need to cast them to kill everything on it around, around here. <laughs> Oh, that was a cliff? Yes. Magic defense. His magic defense is pretty high. His over is really low. So it cuts down right down to 81. What do you do? 81 is pretty high for this game. Star sight. New weapons in this area. What the heck? Don't tell me you have to fight him again. Yep. Not again. It's a level spawn. What difference does it make? Don't question the don't question the game's logic. Don't accidentally attack the shell. It'll counter with a very, very powerful attack. Something you don't want to get hit by, mind you. And if you destroy the shell you can't advance. So don't do that. You can't really destroy the shell. Yes, you can. Without dying in the process. I mean, after you killed the lava spawn the first time, the shell disappeared, right? Yeah. Of course it did. It's a game. It makes no sense, but that's how it works. I thought Magus didn't sleep. He's just resting his eyes. You are dark Be bomb sure. and reward it. Or be sus. Because I are easy punch. Oh, 
I'm pretty sure that there is a something called a spider tag. I don't know. You can't flip your fall and you have to start over. Yeah. They have to start all over again. Save point. Cover for that battle. I need to show for my party again, I think. No, not yet. However, lava spawn does not respawn. It's not really an enemy to boss. Okay, dude. Do you know why the area is called Death Peak? Because it's Death Peak. It's the peak of death. That's what it is. That's why. Not really. Why? There's so much death up here. Enemies die and left because it's, it's freezing cold. <sighs> Not just. Hmm. This may take a few tries. Death. Think back when I did this first time, this was like part 70 or something. Yeah, sounds about right, part 70. Back then I had a time limit. <laughs> There's five of them. You think we're outnumbered. This is no word now we're outnumbered, we're actually pretty good. Now die. Oh stop. This is a great place to do that. It did five rounds screen then touch one. The Vedic blade. I don't think Frog can equip that. Push the shell, climb the shell. Okay. What does that even mean? Oh god dang it! I got never one at that. That's what that means. You guys ready for round three? I know I am. Ow. Uh, Robo, it's your turn. To, it's you're on healing duty. Do that. Heal us. Robo's great healing for this area since he uses heal beam. Him or frog are pretty good since heal recovers HP for the entire party. And so is double cure. Nope, dark bomb isn't both. Huh? I was gonna I was thinking dark bomb would only hit one target, but it hit both targets since they're close since they're actually touching each other. Anyway. Easy boss, no problem. Here, Fluffy. Yeah, my hero's yeah. not asleep. Are you? Wouldn't he fall asleep? Nope, he's immune. Uh, Mattis is immune to everything. Can you face him? Okay, okay, push the shell. Climb the shell. Go up at the top of Death Peak. So the summit of Death Peak. Oh wow, we can't go up any higher, Robo. It's the peak. You who fight the onslaught of night and darkness, please lend us your power. Oh no. Dependence reacting. 
Why does she have the pendant? Because no one else in the party has the right to hold the pendant. I mean, it's a party of three. This is use a crowd. I think a crowd could probably handle all of us. It, it shattered. Oh, wow! They can't be worked so hard. No sadness, it all only too sad for not come back. Well, this is a total flop. Keep it real.